Hey everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are interested in looking into 3D printing and maybe you want some ideas to see what kind of use you can get from a printer like this Ender 3 V2, which is an older model, but still works very, very well. So today I'm gonna to show you a couple of ideas. So idea number one is going to be this right here. You may be wondering what exactly this is. The idea behind this specific device or item is this is basically just a floating shelf. So idea one is not necessarily furniture, but accessories that you can put at your house. So for example, we could hang this using these screw holes right here. I will focus in just a bit. And this is one that actually has the ability to extend. So you'll see that I can separate the different pieces and choose how many different parts and you can adjust and modify the width as well. Now, the next idea is going to be any kind of costumes or accessories. Now, you'll see this one is roughed up a bit, and I do have a video where I actually made this helmet using this Ender 3 V2. Took a couple of weeks, but you could definitely speed this up a bit. But the idea here is if you're into any kind of costumes or just really any accessories for costumes that you have, you can use different colors of filament, and you can even look to paint these, which I haven't done for this just yet, but this one actually does fit me personally. And some of the different tutorials online will allow you to motorize things like this. So idea number two is any kind of costumes or accessories. Now the next thing is going to be 3D models, whether this be for cars like this one here, or really just any kind of accessories you want to put around your room. So in this case, this is something that I was actually able to build. So Option number three is going to be any kind of 3D models, especially things that could be motorized. So you'll see here, I have a Toyota 4Runner, which is one of my favorite cars. And then I got a, uh, basically just your typical remote control car and put the parts inside the 4Runner itself. So it is glued in. And I have a different video, which I'll link in the description, showing that this actually drives and runs. But the idea here is just any kind of motorized kits would be something that you could consider. So if you like making 3D models, or if you like, uh, for example, going and buying the different cars that you can get at the store and assembling those, kind of like a 3D puzzle, 3D printing may be a way for you to do that a little bit cheaper than the kit cars. All right, now option four is going to be any kind of non-motorized models or really just decorations. So this is the test print from the Ender 3 V2. And you'll see I actually have this sitting on a 3D printed shelf here. So I made this shelf and you'll see it actually has a headphone holder built in. So we can put headphone right there or headphones right there and then display things across the top. And it is just screwed into the wall using the brackets that are actually just built in. So that is going to be option four. Now, option five and the final option is going to be the creative pieces that you may need for things you have at home. So one thing I don't think people take advantage of enough with 3D printers is printing parts. For example, if you have a toy car and you wanted to fix it, it has a broken gear or something, you can measure that out and actually print it. So in this case, I'm using something from the shelf that I mentioned in the first option, but you can see here if you had a hanging shelf and you knew the size for the bracket, you could actually 3D print that bracket. And I have this sitting in this chair here. And then we could simply snap this bracket on here. And if you have your tolerances and measurements right, then it would be a relatively tight fit, which is kind of hard to do one handed, but we would push this on and then you can hear it's actually a pretty snug fit. And then we could mount this into our wall. So if we didn't have brackets included with something or if we wanted to kind of make something from scratch, that's an option as well. We could do it using Tinkercad and I'll walk through that very, very quickly here. So going over this very, very quickly, if we were to go to Tinkercad, you can see tinkercad.com. It is a free platform that you can use online and we can click create new 3D design. And then here we have this work plane. Now I have another video, which I will link in the description, basically just going through how to use this platform in more detail, but just kind of going over what I was just touching on very, very briefly. If you wanted to, for example, let's just say make something like, uh, let's just say an L bracket. So we can zoom in here and we could create something like this and then do the exact same thing on this exact same plane and extend it this way and then push this piece down here. And as we are kind of going through, we can measure this out, but 
basic idea here is once we put these two pieces together, then assuming that we had the correct dimensions, this would now be an L bracket that we could use for whatever we want to design in our home. Now, it is important to note that if you're doing something like this, obviously you would want to have things like screw holes, and you can use this option here to create holes, and you can actually copy and paste it. And then if you wanted to, you could basically just click here, highlight everything, and then you can group them together. So again, very, very brief high level overview, but as we kind of move this around, you can see that the general premise is that you can kind of group these pieces together. You can see where the holes would be if you were to add those correctly. So if we decided to add in holes or different options, we could create this as a 3D model and go ahead and print it using the export option and creating an STL file. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below. Let me know of your favorite things to 3D print and I'll see you all in the next video.